Hey guys, welcome to my new channel, Offbeat Travel, and I would like to share our experiences that we had on our trip to Puerto Rico. We went there around about like 2017, and we went there for a week or two days, like around eight days. So we s staggered our trip uh, uh, to keep it, you know, a mix of um, outdoorsy stuff as well as some city exploring, especially like San Juan, which is such a historic city. I would definitely give you guys information about flights, uh, hotels or accommodations and activities, right? So we flew Southwest. It was around about like a $300 round trip directly from Baltimore to San Juan uh, airport. And uh, we, could not take an Uber. We had to take a taxi because Uber is actually banned from the ta uh, airport to outside. There is some kind of, you know, understanding between the Ubers and the taxi drivers at the airport. So keep that in mind. And then uh, we did not rent a car for the first four days because we thought it was a complete waste. So we took the taxi to the hotel. We stayed at this place called Tres Palmas Inn on Condado Beach, which was beautiful, very reasonable, and uh, free breakfast included every time. It was uh, round about uh, $60 or $70 a night with free breakfast. Amazing, as you can see, uh, direct access to beach where we just walked almost every day and had a really good time. We then took an Uber to the Bacardi factory, you know, just to learn about the history of Bacardi, how it came here from Cuba, and uh, had some samplings, did the distillery tour, which was really cool and a must visit for sure. Uh, Bacardi factory is also one of the biggest employers in Puerto Rico itself. Uh, after that, we took an Uber back to Old San Juan to visit a couple of historic sites and these beautiful architectural buildings are breathtaking and definitely a must go. We later took an Uber to El Morro, which is a historical site where it's a fortress which was used to defend the island and it had these uh, beautiful viewpoints which you'll see where soldiers and guards um, used to be there to keep an eye on the ocean and see if there's any enemy ships coming towards them. So it's pretty fascinating to learn about the history of this beautiful, beautiful town. As you can see the majestic site. El Moro is also a United Nations heritage site and also a United States National Monument. As you can see, it's a beautiful site outside and they have tours and travels that are guided tours for people who want to do that as well. Absolutely fascinating there. A lot of fresh vegetables, seafood, uh, plantains, and the world famous mofongo. We later went to El Yunque with our rental car uh, around about a four and a half hour drive from San Juan. We did a hike there and we did a small summit. So we finally made it to the Mount Britain Tower at El Yunque National Forest. Uh, That's a sign of accomplishment. We made it in 40 minutes, actually 30 minutes. Tower in the north. So apparently, this is where they shot Game of Thrones. I'm just kidding. Wow, you can see this. Sorry. I think that's El Yunque Peak. 
brand was pushed from the tower. <laughs> Just kidding. After our hike, we drove to Fajardo and took a ferry for $4 a piece to the island of Vieques and stayed at this place called Bravo Beach Hotel. Uh, and some of the historic sites we visited was the Black Sand Beach, Playa Caracas, and uh, Bioluminescence, uh, along with this kayaking. We couldn't record the Bioluminescence, unfortunately, because they were restricting it without video and images are practically impossible as uh, you can only see it with your naked eye so definitely an experience to remember and a must visit uh, we actually went with this uh, group uh, called blackbeard sports and they had amazing amazing trainers and uh, guides who took us through all these experiences We later did uh, snorkeling at Mosquito Bay uh, after our kayaking during the day and we saw some of these majestic creatures, uh, sea urchins, flatfishes, uh, giant turtles and all kinds of small fishes and clownfishes. Um, I was trying to point something to my wife uh, which was a flatfish there and the water was majestic. As you can see. Beautiful corals as well. JJ was actually really amazing. He showed us this amazing giant turtle, which he was like scouting for a while with us. Um, he was actually a trooper. He gave us all the amazing experiences. He took us under this mosquito pier where there's a lot of marine, marine life, which actually settles. Um, and you can see all these different types of fishes. We also saw the dory fish, uh, which we call it. And that was truly really majestic. And that was just one of the few that I can even name. The marine life and the biodiversity there is fantabulous. And you actually see amazing sights more on the Caribbean side than the, the Atlantic side of the island. That is definitely something you must remember if you try to go for tours. Uh, even in the smaller island of Vieques. Uh, make sure that you go towards the south. There is a beautiful city called Esperanza. There are only two towns in the island of Vieques. We actually rented a scooter, which was like around about $40 a day, and we could go around the island um, in like 30 minutes, and it was fantastic. You can also rent a golf cart for around about like 60 to $70 a day, but unfortunately we couldn't get it as it was sold. Later towards the tail end of the trip, we came back from Vieques, we rented our car back, and from Fajardo we drove down to my wife's family in Hide Bonito, beautiful majestic place. We enjoyed spending some time with family, and then towards the end of it we drove back to San Juan. Nothing better than spending some time with uh, family and we had a blast with them. They took, a, took us to all these amazing uh, spots, um, amazing dinner places and lunch places and they had amazing pets as well. Uh, they had a Akita and a couple of cute cats. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep supporting me and we will surely be back.